There he is. Tell Stryker, Chong Kong. Galan. Looks as though Ireland have turned this one over. Dug out by Stringer, pulled out of the way by his own man, Keith Woods, and let me get on with it. Stringer comes back, the ball is loose, taken in by Emmett Byrne. And Trumpon and Stringer. Stringer down again. Well, now we, we both missed out, I'm hoping the video replay will show that, but I must say, no surprise if Stringer was a bit of a targeted man today, because he is key to so much of the performance of this Irish Street quarter. So we see John Hayes coming in just to take the attendants out to that ruck. Stringer retreating. Ah. Well, well, that's got to be a red card, Nigel. So I don't has, see any option there. Be. Steve Lander talks to John. Yeah, and Trunkon's been worn and already. Trunkon's going off, but he must do, surely. Absolutely blatant. There you go. Had to be. Trocon was, was warned, but at the on. same time, Charles, he was earlier on the half. That's a red card, no option. That's total indiscipline. And from the man of Troncon's experience, the past captain of Italy, last season only, it's just an absurd hot headedness. Uh, maybe frustration, but that's no excuse. And poor old Peter Stringer, he's been in the battles today. And, you know, you just cannot have that lack of discipline on the, on the rugby field. It's an element I was watching Italy train yesterday and uh, quite disturbing. There is that element to their play, you know, where the, the training was going badly and the, Brad Johnson was getting more than angry and the uh, players themselves were. And uh, there's an element of hot-headedness that cannot happen on the rugby field. Stringer goes off to be replaced. Wonderful player. He's had another such an effective game, but uh, he'll have a more than unpleasant headache tonight, I'm sure. So Brian O'Mara will be on if he's not already.